to set number three on Homelstorf. You are dead as the blue team to the north. Insidious Let's Gaming. The the Looking at the tank's big sprint. You are dead. They have 1 1 10, 2 Amos 5100s, and 2 IS3s. Whereas on the other side for Insidious Gaming, they have 2 1 10s, 2 Amos 5100s, and 1 T32. Yeah, not much difference coming out from both teams there. Uh, both sides going with three frontline tanks and, of course, those two snipers. So we do see Insidious. Or you are dead this time around. Yeah, going for the hilltop. Very interesting. Every single one of their tanks will have moved over here to the eastern edge, except maybe a T1 going to post up at the kind of base of the eastern part of the entrance to the hilltop. Other than that, yeah, every single one of these tanks is making their way up right now. Yeah, and I like this. I mean, you know, trying to steal the strategy from the other uh, And look at this. Team. Wow, Insidious Gaming sending three of their tanks themselves. So we are going to see at least possibly a very contested hilltop battle here, although you know, if it comes to a full-on engagement, of course, you are going to have a slight advantage with all five of those tanks up there. So, as long as Insidious Gaming don't overcommit to this, they should be fine. And the thing is, if they can hold, you know, uh, you know, three or more of these tanks on this hilltop, it's going to allow the tanks at the base, uh, the other two tanks that are waiting at the base, to to have uh, pretty much free reign over the entire map. Yeah, I wouldn't expect Insidious Gaming with only three tanks up here to go for a big push. They're going to send up the T1 first, yeah, and yeah, if yeah. they lose the T1 battle, it could put them in some danger. But, I mean, already spotting this T1, we're going to see how this turns oh, out. They do win the wow. T1 battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Insidious crucial. Gaming. Very crucial. So that is very important. Because yeah, look, he's actually the second he crosses this corner, he's going to spot maybe three or four of those tanks on You Are Dead. So he's, he's going to be in for a nasty surprise, although that's going to be very good vision and very good information for his team. A, that, a nasty surprise for Nisa, but a very good surprise for his team. Yeah, because yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> like you said, it's huge information if you see oh, all Oh, here they stuff. go. And yeah, now Nisa realizes what is happening here. He does not make it in time. Onion Head now, they realize Onion Head, at least Onion Head is up here at this point. I don't think they actually spotted the other three tanks, or other four tanks for that matter, on this hilltop. So that's the, I guess, the only real thing the you are that side to have going for them. But they are going to completely retreat from this push because they know that they've been compromised. Yeah, that's that's very smart here, you know. The, the oh yeah, look at this, already, on. already. They have moved up to this northern part of the city. Death Guys and Sea Chai already in position to even potentially start this base capture right now. The other tanks are now running, going as fast as they can to this northern part of the city because they have to be able to back up Death Guys and Sea Chai. At least get there before the other members do. But UI that should be able to get here. They are in position. They are starting to damage onto Death Guys. Death Guys taking a big shot there. They do manage to take down the two T1s on the UI that side. So you are now coming into position. They have to be careful because Grits in a very nice position, stopping these uh, kind of retreating you are the tanks. Honestly, this still could go either way because no critical damage has been thrown out here. Yeah, and Cities Gaming, like we said before, if they find out about all those tanks on the high ground, they are going to get in this really good position, oh and they are. They're doing a God. bunch of damage to Onion Head already, but taking a bunch of damage themselves as well. Wow, Onion Head, though, getting immediately blown up. Elite getting traded there, so it's still quite even. Hobbs about to fall as well, though. There he goes. Slight advantage now in favor of the UR dead side. Although some of these members are quite low. Griff's now coming in here, trying to do as much damage as he can. Mini Chun in his aim is 50, though, on the run right now. He might be out of bullets at this point, but Sea Chai is getting chased down by two other members of UR dead. No. Yeah, Death Guys as well now trying to do as much damage. Insidious Gaming crucially need at least one tank right now. Komi down to one shot away. If Insidious Gaming take down Nomi, it will be completely tied up. Sea Chai doing a very good job getting out of here, but AK is coming around. He's going to try to finish oh. him off. They do tie it up with the tanks, but a nice shot by Sea Chai landed, but AK able to finish him off. So Insidious Gaming now down one tank, but they do have the health advantage by far, and they are keeping this base capture up. Most definitely so here. To at least two, yeah, both AK and Nomi down to one shot away from dying. They have split up. Three of them split up. One goes down. It is tied up once again. Base capture still ticking here. It looks like, uh, honestly, I, I'm going to call this and say Insidious Gaming are going to take this. Yeah, Insidious Gaming with a huge health advantage right now. Mini Ton and his his partner Nomi with very low 454 and I believe like 139 or something. They're coming in here. They have to stop the base capture. It's their only way, their only choice. But how exactly are they going to do it is the question. 
Yeah, the thing is, yeah, no matter how they approach this, they will have to come out of cover and at least try and get the first, or uh, to come out of cover to try and get that delay on the base capture. So they will t be, take the, be taking the first shot and they're trying to find the best way to approach this because they're both down to, I mean, if if if, uh, if it's just game get lucky, Minichun's also down to about one hit. So the thing is, they have to be very careful. Honestly, these two, uh, these two 50 hunters should come at the same time because they're both very, very low. And they have spotted Death Skies now with so much health. They're sending Nomi around. They're going to try to surround yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah, their only help. Yeah, 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 yeah. With six seconds left, here they come. I still don't think so. But yeah, Griff's going to immediately be able to finish off Nomi here. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Minichun about to get finished off as well. Nomi and Minichun doing the best they can for their team, but eventually going to go down. Insidious Gaming takes.